Welcome to Good Mythical More. Um, boy, this is this is going to be tough for me. To, you look great, though. But I am going to look great the whole time. Yeah. The weight of the world on my shoulders. You know, it's actually when I do this, I can't hear anything, which is cool. Well, I thought by the end of this, those gloves would be in your sleeves. They could be. You think you could work them yeah, down? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't want to stretch too much. You know, though. one day you might have uh, sleeves like this. I, I mean, I saw it and I was like, oh, that, I, I, I kind of I like it. I'm I, not saying I won't do it. I don't know if I like it. It would just make my yet. wrists look even skinnier than they are. And I've already got skinny wrists for a big man. I don't want to draw, I don't want to draw attention to that. You're self-conscious about your skinny wrists? Well, I would be if I had that sweatshirt oh, on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> Let's, yeah. let's freeze frame. It'll be fun because you've got those balls on you. <laughs> okay. I bet you they did it. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. I felt like I had to tuck it in. It was like, it was so where do you big get, and boisterous. Well, where do you get a sweatshirt? I had like to that? tuck it. Exactly. Exactly. Is this a, a, your internet or you see it on a rack? Oh, this is the internet. Okay. And then how do they show it in the picture? Do they show somebody, like, just so you know, like, how do they show yeah. you that they're, or is it like, oh, or you got it, and you were like, oh. No, I I actually saw that it was doing this before I bought so it. So their person's, like, yeah. doing this in the picture? What does it look like if you were to untuck it? Just, you know, because we're talking about it. We you, just need to see. Is that the problem? Is that? Oh, no, no, no. No. I just want to see. Untuck is it. that the intended styling? Or was well, it? I intentionally did it. Well, no, I'm, I'm talking. Was see. the model in the? Uh, yeah. Yeah. More. Even more angelic. All right. <laughs> see, but it's all about it's all about the look on your face, and like maybe you pull up the sleeves a little bit, and you put your hands in your pockets, and you don't have this on. Good well, God. no, but I think that helps. I, I mean, I, I have to. T I got to take the weight of the world off okay, my shoulders. There we go. Now it's loosening up. So. I think this reference might be lost on you, but see, this isn't bad. There's a a Broad City episode that has uh, Fred Armisen in it, and um, it they an go, art they're trying to make some money. Yeah, and uh, they go and they they clean his house uh, because that's what he's hired them to do. But he also has a fetish in which he's a baby. And they try and leave the house and they ask for the money that he promised. And he's just like, I'm just a little baby. I don't have any money. I'm a baby. <laughs> and that's what that, um, this look reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for your input. So if you just I think it's pretty say, cool, I'm man. just a little baby, that, that would really be no. pretty cool. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like you, it looks very relaxed. You know, it's like, hey. I think the it, neck could be bigger. There, there's another wing of the art exhibit. Come with me. Uh, kind of, oh, so you're giving you're a docent? It's that kind of thing. No, I think uh, you're don't t don't point at the paintings. No, no, because you'll accidentally you look, touch them. I think you look like the painter. I don't and think then, you look like the docent. Yeah, they're my paint. My, my, they're all my. Oh, paintings. you're the docent and the and the painter. I mean, this isn't bad, right? You think it's better not tucked in? Go sideways. I would not tuck it in. Yeah, I think it's better not tucked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now flap your wings. <laughs> there he is. I'm a little baby. <laughs> Little baby, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. <laughs> well, you know what? I got the answer that I needed. When so, you go to art museums, do the docents tell you not to point at the paintings? Because I've never gotten that instruction, and yes. it struck me that you did. Okay. Well, if you're three feet away and you point, then your hand's very close. Well, we did a photo shoot recently, and Link really wanted to point. At the photographer, and the photographer was like, "No pointing." Yes. I was. At, so said I no know pointing. That was the same oh yeah, thing. I was at the. I don't know how to put this back on now. I was at the Getty, and um, this is this is like this is a long time ago. I I, I remember t talking to you about it on a show of some sort. Some some show. Um, <laughs> we make a lot of them. About the fact that when I went to the Getty, they told me they reprimanded me for pointing at a painting. Well, how close were you? Well, actually, it might have been you. <laughs> that got reprimanded? Yeah, it was one of us. I have long you arms. You were there. You were there. Lucas, I'm sorry, man. I, I need some help to figure out. Like, as we're doing this, just help me Help me that, get the world back on my shoulders. That's because good enough. I know it's a punishment. Okay. Uh, I, I'll, okay figure it out. First, I'll figure uh, it out. I'll figure it out. 
you'll figure one out. Um, how to wear the sweatshirt. Oh, I think you did. I think you're good. Just a little baby. Um, okay. Maybe I could have gotten a black one. Was that Ooh, my mistake? I don't know. Or a gray no. one. I think oh. there's an angelic got quality to the white one. You know what? I'll get a black one. Forward. Great. Yeah. Boom. I'll get the black one. This one. You'll get the black one? <laughs> we'll wear it out together. Yeah. Clip them. You know, I mean, a year from now, everybody's going to be wearing this. And be like, oh, yeah. I remember when it was, when this is the conversation. No, I think I think you've got to make some, you know, you've got to make some bold choices to see where you right. see where you land. Exactly. You need to get a big watch though. And if you were to go skydiving in that, you would land really nicely. Because, I do and I do have a know. Oh, it, I have a watch that's too big too. You could be, yeah, it's like a squirrel suit. You could be one of those people that flies through the canyons on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Ball shoulder man. Okay, this is the way this game now that we're five minutes into this is gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna give yeah, I'm, you. Yeah, I've been stalling it's a lot anyway. Weight based yeah. stuff. I hate yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, Guesstimation. Yeah. I hate this. One of my favorite things. So, I hate this. how many pints of ice cream equal one dairy cow? In in weight. In weight. <laughs> Not in ingredients. A pint. A dairy cow. Does a gar- Does a dairy cow weigh a how much is a Gary? All right, so a dairy cow, I'm going to say. No, no thinking out loud. I'm going to say weighs. No thinking out loud. Put your head in your sleeve and think. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to say the number out loud. What do they weigh? Four, four times six, four times five. Four times, four times six is what? Four times six. What's four times six? Five. And then four going. See, I'm trying too hard. No, this is good. For, uh, and then what goes into f- four goes into thirty? How many times? Um, well, you're gonna you're gonna have a very different answer than me because seven, your estimation of the weight of a cow is higher, and your seven, estimation six, of the weight of a pint is lower. Six. You're uh, talking like nine thousand. What? Because it would be twenty three hundred times four. But no. Oh. Divided by. Yeah, divided by one fourth is times four. Oh yeah, this is good, isn't it? Boy, if so you only ninety two hundred, ninety two hundred is what you. Cor- is your yeah, guess. that's right. That's what I'm doing. And because I went in the opposite direction, I ended up with a factor of ten lower than you. I said seven hundred and twenty three. Ninety two hundred pints. Okay, so. What? How much did you think a, a dairy cow? I said weighs? a dairy cow was like a, over a ton. I said it was like a thousand pounds, but that I don't know. How, I mean, dairy cow pre-milked dairy cow is is uh, twenty three hundred pounds. post milk dairy cow about half a ton. Okay, so average dairy cow fifteen hundred pounds. Okay, so we're, we're right in the in middle between us. And then a pint of ice cream is typically between 14 and 16 ounces. So let's say 15 ounces. So right around so a pound. That means the answer is 1,600 pints oh, of ice cream. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. So I, I thought that a pint was about a pound and a half. A pint weighs a pound? And I thought that a dairy cow was about 1,000 pounds. What? It's all, it's all about your assumptions, guys. Be careful what you assume because it can send you in two very different directions. Hmm. Okay, VHS copies of Jurassic Park equal to the weight of one T Rex. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you heard that audio of what scientists think T Rexes actually sound? Yeah, it's like? embarrassing. I tried to forget it. Embarrassing for you because you were scared because it's scary sounding. Oh, I thought they sounded a little too. Uh, you know, they didn't sound as oh, ferocious no. as I thought. No, no, they sound very scary. I thought it was more screamy. It's like the volume is such that like the echo and reverb of their like it's not as I've not heard it uniform either as as we think. Let, let's hear it. We'll try and pull it up. Imagine if that's on content ID. Oh, Chase is going to. Uh, it can be. Give his impression. Let's see a VHS tape. And this is in pounds? Yeah. 
or kilograms. I mean, I really Rockin don't. And pound. Oh, God. that was good. A T Rex is a big creature. Um, I'm gonna say a T Rex is the same as probably so ninety six thousand pounds is my answer. Okay. Hold on, it's not pounds, it's how many tapes. Oh yeah, tapes. Yeah. Right. So my answer is 96,000 VHS I tapes. I said 30,000. So how much did you think a, I, I thought I he thought was, a okay, I thought he was 10,000 pounds. 10 cows. And you thought that eight VHSs make a pound? I thought that three VHSs make a pound. Mm, no, they're not that heavy. If it's a Titanic. Well, that's two that's a lot VHS. of tape. That's a lot of, that's a lot of tape. Two tapes. Okay, a T Rex weighs thirteen thousand two hundred and fifty hey. pounds. Look at me. Uh, well, that means that it would take thirty thousand eight hundred and fourteen Jurassic Park VHS. Whoa! How did I get? I half was with right, an eight hundred, and then he got the second half well, right. Because ten thousand is a pretty good guess, but your guess of how many? Yeah, it's more. This is closer to the real answer. About three VHS tapes or a pound. I almost mm -hmm. was going to say were lighter three point two VHS tapes, but that seemed too okay. cute. All right, ten cows, eight cows, maybe make a T Rex. Okay. Um. Do we have Do we have that? We're working on the T Rex audio. All okay. right. You're literally like recording it. Yes. We're finding the local T Rex. How many horse jockeys? Horse or horse? Horse. Horse jockeys. Horse. Jockeys, jockeys equal the heaviest sumo wrestler ever. Wow, okay. Horse jockey, and then you got a sumo wrestler. Talk about a little baby. That's what a sumo wrestler is. A little baby. Okay, so how much does a sumo wrestler weigh? And then how much does a jockey weigh? I mean, it, it does help me to draw pictures. Look at that, that's pretty good. Are you including the horse? Because that's gonna throw your calculations off. It's a fat horse though. I don't know why I drew the horse so. Yeah, now the horse is, the horse is slimmer. Um, remember that time that I got Right there, over slammed there. by a sumo wrestler. Yeah, I was here for it. Well, that was that was scary, and it um, I, I believe there was a long term injury, but I'm over it. It was more emotional. Wasn't that long? It was emotional it was in medium nature. Term. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Link. Um, the sumo wrestler and his trainer just sort of hung around the office for a long time after that episode. Yeah, they had a good time just being here. Yeah, we have a very sumo friendly environment here. Nobody wanted to show the sumo wrestler the exit. I mean, it's just like, well, as, you know, you don't want to make them seem like they're being ushered out. A sumo wrestler probably weighs... Um, the largest one ever. Oh, the largest one ever? Yeah. yeah. 725 wow. pounds? Okay. That's too much. 625 pounds. Okay. That's a lot. And then a, a, the average... Horse jockey? Average horse jockey. Probably weighs 90 pounds. 96 pounds. Okay. So, what? what's the question? How many jockeys? How many jockeys? So 100 into, um, so I would say 6.2 Okay, so jockeys. we basically have the same answers. I said 95 pounds and 650 pounds. So it's a little bit more than six, but you can't have, you know, like a part of a jockey. So we're saying six. Well, I, I did. I said six point two jockeys. Yeah, you guys are right on it. It's, it would be five point eight. It the uh, the average jockey is one hundred and ten pounds. Ooh. And the heaviest sumo wrestler ever was six hundred and forty five. Whoa! Pounds. Look at that, six fifty, bro. I mean, I'm just proud of myself for being in the You're ballpark. Actually, really impressing me, Link. I know. I'm trying really hard. Oh, we have the we have the T Rex oh. actual T Rex. Here we go, guys. Yeah. 
Is that coming from the mouth? Yeah. Wow, that would be scary, dude. It got a little farty at one point. Dang. Terrifying. And, and you know it's loud, too, because that thing weighs as much as 10 cows. 10 cows, man. Can you imagine just 10 cows stacked on top of each other coming at you, making that noise? <laughs> Oh man. That is scary. Okay, I'm on a roll. Finally. Still losing every time. But right, but I mean, almost getting it. Right. How many beans equal one happy rat? How Assuming many beans a happy rat is his current happy or not weight. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. How many beans? Wow. You make it, there's lots of different types of beans. What? What's oh, we're talking pinto beans. Pinto beans, yeah. That's okay. where I was. That's where I was. A pinto bean, and then a, and then a ret. You know what? I'm not going to do any math this time. I'm just going to go on instincts. Um. Uh. Two I'm not going to put that there. Now I gotta do a little math here. How many beans are in a pound? A <laughs> hundred? Are there a hundred pinto beans in a pound? Like a pound of pinto beans. I would think it would be 80. I'm gonna go with a nice round 100. Uh, one one hundredth of a pound. And then, so I'm gonna go with 200. 20, I'm going with 20, I'm going with 20,000. I said there were 600 beans in a pound, so 129,000 beans is a happy me. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, 67,256.8. Oh, so oh. I doubled, it was, so it's about 300,000, 300 beans in a pound. Yeah. Yeah, we were both really off about that. I but, think you're actually closer though. Do I win this you're one? Only, four, only 47,000 beans away. Yeah. There you go. I'll take the win. And did you like my rendering of you, man? It's quick. It's, it's dirty. cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Low mane hair, long nose. That's me. Yeah, very recognizable. Tall nose, I would say. You're a tall person. Even your nose is tall. Hmm. Well, you got to balance things out. Right. And then what we're doing here, I, why is it? <laughs> 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 